where she averaged 50 miles a day for nearly nine weeks, all to help her fellow veterans. A Navy veteran in her 50s arrived at St. Augustine this morning after riding coast to coast on her bicycle. First Coast News' Jeff Fallon was there when she arrived, and he even got his feet <laughs> wet with her as she touched the Atlantic. <laughs> It was joyous, it, and um, I, I, I told you I was going to take a dip in the water, and I went in the water for you. <laughs> 62 days after getting her toes and tires wet at the Pacific in San Diego. You got it, Mom. You got it. <laughs> it's wet. Navy veteran Tracy Sefcik touched the Atlantic at St. Augustine Beach Thursday morning after a hero's escort over the ICW. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you. That was my last sail, and when I, and when I seen it, I was at my last bridge. I was so happy. Eight states of hills, flats, and everything in between. In eastern Texas, not too far from Louisiana border. To raise $25,000 for the Gary Sinise Foundation, benefiting veterans. It was thoughts of her brother and sister comrades, along with random kindnesses and donations, that kept her motivated. You're not hurt. You had a bad day. You had a bunch of hills. You know, tomorrow will be better. and. You just got to keep going. Also, her mom and sons who thought of her constantly. I'm thinking to myself, for real? <laughs> you know, like, and then as the days went on, then I found out it was for real. You always want to be there to protect her, you know, and knowing that if something happens out there on the road, you can't be there, you know. And there to greet her at the end of that 3,045th mile. I started crying when I came around the corner and seen my two sons. I started getting teary-eyed behind my glasses. No salt in those tears, though just in the oceans at each end. I'm an old lady. So she says. And you can still do it. You know what? She is not an old lady. Not you at all. You can do that, Tracy. Not at all. You are very young. So congratulations and thank you so much for the service to our country. Tracy reached her goal of $25,000 raise, but she's looking to double that. For more information, you can check the story on firstcoastnews.com.